what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I'm here with another video for you guys uh, this video is gonna be a little bit of a raw uncut video I don't plan on editing this video so I really just want to put it on, on I really just want to put this video up as is but we'll see how it goes now you guys may also hear like some noise because journey is over there in his little swing set so you might hear the swing set like moving back and forth um but this video is going to be all about uh some things that you need to avoid when pricing your products and basically some mistakes that i noticed that uh, new business owners make when they are in the phase of creating their prices when you are creating prices, it is a very difficult thing to uh, master just due to the fact that in the beginning you don't have tons of direction to go in and a lot of the times business owners don't necessarily know how much to raise their prices. You just kind of like learn as you go. But people like myself who's been there done that can you know give valuable information so you don't necessarily waste time or waste money or spend time not making enough money. Um, so that's why I'm here to like help some of you guys in case you guys are interested in creating prices. Uh, now I uh, I also have a webinar and the webinar that I already had I'm selling the replay for and it's all about profiting. So if you guys are interested in that I'll leave that link on the well in the description box it'll be the very first link in the description box and that webinar goes over how to properly price your products with a a consistent formula with uh examples it, it's you learn a lot of stuff in that webinar so if you guys are interested in that i definitely do recommend it but moving on <laughs> uh like i said this video is all about the mistakes to avoid when pricing your products so i was able to list everything in my phone just so I made sure I went over everything properly. But the first thing that you want to avoid is um, creating your prices based off of your comp competitor's prices or your competition. And the reason I say that is because when it comes to, excuse me, when it comes to creating your prices, you don't necessarily know what the next business owner or the next business incorporates in creating their prices and what I mean by that is like myself when I create created my prices all of my expenses are included so my website fee monthly is included my shipping fee is included there's so much stuff that's included into my actual price list structure so that's why it's not ideal for the next business owner to just base their prices off let's say like my prices or the next business's prices just due to the fact that you don't necessarily know what the next business incorporates in their expenses to get their price structure so that's the very first thing so i don't want any of you guys to make that mistake it's not worth it you'll probably end up losing more um doing it that route versus doing it like you know just creating numbers on your own so don't necessarily do it that way okay uh so let's move on the next one is going to be not factoring in all expenses that slash cost and that kind of ties off of the first one the first the first first one that I just mentioned but basically you need to factor in all all of your expenses so let's say you have a drop ship uh, not let's say you drop ship you want to make sure you incorporate the shipping cost you want to make sure you incorporate um, how much the actual prices for the product is from your vendor you want to make sure you incorporate your packaging costs. You want to make sure you incorporate your website fees costs. You want to incorporate all of that. And then, of course, if you have other things tied into your business, you want to make sure you calculate that into the equation when it is time for you to uh, create your prices. And the reason I say that is because if you factor in all of those prices and all of the money that you basically dish out to run your company you'll end up making a lot more back in profit when it does come to like you know like your monthly expenses or when it does come to like your monthly income regarding your business so that's very important that you do that in the beginning when i opened allure 96 i did not do that i literally 
oh my gosh it's embarrassing to say but <clears throat> I literally started my company and just had BS prices like I just created prices that I thought were right and do you hear the baby <laughs> he's about to start crying um but long story short I basically just created like bullshit prices um that seemed right but they necessarily weren't right because I was losing out on so much money when it was time for me to do my books and all that stuff so don't make that mistake that I made okay so the last mistake that people make when they do create their prices is just adding what seems right and what I mean by that is a lot of the times when I'm talking to different business owners, they just say like, oh, I just added $35 to my vendor's prices or I added $15 or $20 or $25. And mm, yeah, that sounds like you're adding a lot, but you're not. If you're not factoring in all of the prices it takes to run your business, you're not making any money. So that $30 that you tacked on. Yeah, now just think about it. When you get those items shipped, it's typically $25, $30, $35, $40, $50, $60 to get those items shipped to you depending on how much inventory you order at once. Um, I've paid hundreds of dollars for shipping. So you just really want to make sure that you're factoring in everything and not just adding 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 bucks, uh, you know, to each bundle or whatever you're selling because it's not going to add up in the end and it's not going to balance out in the end and you're going to end up losing more than gaining more and the goal is as a business owner to gain as much as possible so i just really don't want you guys to make those mistakes that i did but i do hope this video was beneficial to some of you guys this is a different style video than that i'm used to just because i'm just literally sitting on my couch watching my son and I really just wanted to pick up the camera because this was heavily on my mind and I don't want you guys to make a lot of the mistakes that I made as a business owner. So take these words and utilize them. And yeah, uh, I love each and every one of you guys. If you guys are interested in the Profit Blueprint webinar where you learn how to wholly or is that a word? <laughs> where you learn 100% how to uh, price your products. I'll leave it right in the description box for you. It's a replay and then you also get a, a review guide uh, to look back on with tons of examples, tons of definitions, so you guys legit understand everything when it comes to pricing your products. So I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.